Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great and today I'm going to give you guys a secret tool that you'll need for your dreadlocks hand down. This is the best tool you can use. Almost everybody uses. We've seen Chris McDread, we've seen Knotlocks, we've seen Lazy Dreads, we've seen the Blasian Sensation, we've seen Wired and Stoned, we've seen Actverse, we've seen Donate Daily, and we've seen myself use this product. So not only is this a product that a lot of people use, but this is a product that works. And this is the number one product that I recommend anybody to get. This is what really makes your dreadlocks mature really fast. You can literally get instant dreadlocks and it solves all the problems with having immature dreads. And even if you have dreadlocks that don't last or when you get them wet, they fall out or you don't even have the ability to wash them yet. This tool is called a crochet needle. If you have dreadlocks, if you want dreadlocks, get a crochet needle. This product is meant for everybody who wants to get dreads. Now, obviously you have to know how to use it. I'm gonna give you guys a brief explanation on how to use it right here. Start where you started that twist out and literally you're gonna go in the dread and out the dread. But all you're gonna do is you're pulling the hair into the roots. So never pull away, always pull into the root. And as you're doing it, you kind of want to rotate the hair. See, it's really easy. All you have to do is make sure that you're pulling towards the roots. Don't ever pull away from the roots because that's how you eliminate breakage. Now let me compare the crush needle to other methods and why this is so much better. Say you chose twisting with gel. Of course, your dreadlocks turn out looking good. They look great, they look very maintained, but who wants to wait two months, three months, sometimes up to a year, allowing your hair to fully mature in order for you to actually feel comfortable washing it or getting it wet? Who wants to wait that long? I didn't. Okay, so that's an easy decision right there. I'm gonna choose the crochet needle over twisting with gel. And of course you can start your dreadlocks off with twisting with gel and then go in with crochet needling afterwards and then touch them up. Another method is using a dread sponge or a twist sponge or even doing towel rubbing. Of course you can form the dreadlocks that way, but you can't automatically start to mature your dreadlocks with a dread sponge. You can only start them out. Same with the twisting with gel and same with all these other methods that I'm gonna mention. You can only start them out that way. The quickest way to mature your dreadlocks is with a crochet needle. You can even start your dreadlocks with a crochet needle if you want. All you gotta do is section out your hair and then use a crochet needle to hook it all together and you're good. But like I said earlier, you can start out with a towel rub or a sponge rub and then go in with crochet hooking and that's perfectly fine because that's actually how I started my dreadlocks when I had them. Now another method is back combing. Nobody wants to have that much shrinkage on your hair immediately. Back combing makes your dreadlocks as short as possible. This is the method that gets the most shrinkage out of your hair. Now this is a method that's recommended more for people with straighter hair, but if you use a crochet hook, you can basically maintain your length while maturing your dreadlocks. Versus with back combing, you have to back comb and then you typically have to go back in and touch up with a crochet hook in the first place. So might as well start your dreadlocks off with the crochet needle and then finish with the crochet needle. You can literally just have a crochet needle and you're good. So that's already three methods that are lower than using a crochet needle. And there's many other methods I can list them off. Doing interlocking. Now, it, I just don't recommend interlocking, but if you do it, it is more of an instant dreadlocking process, but it's hard to start dreadlocks off with interlocks. So just stick to crochet needling because let's face it, interlocking is probably the quickest and easiest method to do, but it doesn't give your dreadlocks that good of a look. They look kind of knotted up. And I'm talking about like actual tied knots, like a shoelace or like a rope. I'm not talking about knotted hair. So I feel like you guys got a great idea on why a crochet needle is so important to your dreadlocks and why if you don't have any other product, this is the most important one to have. If you don't have any of them, just get a crochet needle. That's all you need. If you don't have any products whatsoever, just get a crochet needle first. Or if you choose to do any other method, pick up a crochet needle with that. Because even if you started with any of the methods that I listed before, you can finish and mature your dreadlocks with a crochet needle and it makes them look perfect. And you don't have to wait. And that's the biggest thing. A lot of people don't have that much patience. And if you're one of those people, which is basically everyone in the whole wide world, then pick up a crochet needle. Now, obviously if you wanna go for the whole experience, and you know, kind of just go through everything with dreadlocks and you don't want to speed up the process, you kind of just want to enjoy the whole entire process, then it's not necessary. But say you want dreadlocks like yesterday, then get a crochet needle. Now a crochet needle can be picked up at greatlocks.com. A link to it is in the description, along with a full link tutorial video on how to use a crochet needle below. But you guys, it's worked for me, worked for all these other people that I listed before and many others, and it'll work for you. I'm telling you, this is the number one tool you're gonna want for your dreadlocks. If you don't have any other one, get a crochet needle. Like I said, you can pick it up at greatlocks.com. Link is in the description, along with all the other products that I mentioned earlier on in the video. Say if you wanna start with twisting a gel or using a dread sponge or anything else, all those are gonna be linked down below. But you guys, 
choose a crochet needle today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. And I just want to give you guys that information because it's super important for dreadlocks, especially if you want to speed up the process. If you guys want more content on product reviews or why products are important, comment down below if I should do more of these and I'll definitely make more. If you want me to do reviews on any products, definitely leave a comment down below as well. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.